Hey, well, I'm Milos from Rye, and this is basically three records that changed my life. My dad had this huge bookshelf, and he had a record player, and he had a bunch of records. And I pulled out this record, and it was the first record that I ever put on the record player by myself without my dad's permission, and also without him helping me, because I had to stand on a chair to to get up to the record player, so it was pretty small. I was listening to it on headphones because I didn't want to get in trouble that I was messing with his records because I think he was always worried I was going to scratch them. And I was kind of losing my mind as a little kid just thinking this is the craziest sounding thing. I thought aliens made the record. It's kind of a rare feeling. I didn't realize at that time that you're not always wowed by records, but that was, I was really wowed by that record. I bought it at a record store that was near my parents' house. And that track I've been listening to my whole life. I think it's an amazing track. I think it's the best Prince song, um, in my opinion. My mom came in and she was like, should you be listening to that? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty dirty. And I was like, mom, it's just music. I gave her this like thing, this excuse. And she was like, yeah, you're right, okay, whatever. I just love that um, she was cool with it. She didn't care that it's, it's a pretty dirty song, but she, she understood, I, was, I, I just liked the song as a kid. I studied jazz uh, at university, uh, jazz drumming, and I became fatigued with music. I just, I didn't want to make music anymore. Music didn't have its, like, charm, I don't know. And then my friend, Scott and Sean Coza, showed me a record by Autecker called Garbage, it was an EP. It completely recharged me. I got really excited about the idea of production and producing music as opposed to just being uh, like a player, like a musician. I was more like, I don't know, enthralled by this idea of creating soundscapes. This is why I saved the Garbage Record for last because it's the record that breathed life into me as someone who wanted to produce music and write music. It inspired me to really look into texture more than just song structure. I think texture is really, really important. The sonic texture and how it makes you feel. And that record has that for me.